Asia with Bao and Ming. Mount Fuji, Japan. Bao and Ming. Bao and Ming are taking a walk through their bamboo grove. They're thirsty and are getting a drink from a nearby stream. As they walk back, Bao asks me, Did you ever want to see or feel snow? Ming responds, Yes! I want to sled and ski and make a snow panda. Why do you ask? Bao says, I was looking through some things on my tablet and I saw lots of different places where there's snow. But one place looked really beautiful. Ming says, What was that? Bao said, I'll give you some hints. The snow is on top of an active volcano. It's on an island in the Pacific Ocean. Ming still doesn't know. Bao says, And the people speak Japanese. Ming laughs. <laughs> Mount Fuji! The Islands of Japan Maybe we should start on the outside and work in, says Ming. Bao says, Good idea! We know that Japan is to the east of the Sea of Japan, northeast of the East China Sea, and north of the Philippine Sea. But all the seas and bays are a part of the largest ocean on Earth, the Pacific Ocean. Ming says, Japan is made up of five main islands. They are Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, Kyushu, and Okinawa. Japan is part of an archipelago of 6,852 islands, covering an area of 145,937 square miles, 377,975 square kilometers. Mount Fuji is located on Honshu. Honshu is an island that is made up of about three-fourths of mountains. Mount Fuji probably feels right at home on an island with this terrain. Where on Honshu is Mount Fuji located? Bao relies on his tablet for the answer to this. Tokyo is the capital and largest city on Honshu. Mount Fuji is a part of the Fuji Hakone Izu National Park. Hakone is a popular tourist destination because it has many hot springs. Ming says, I have a friend who went there. You can buy hard-boiled eggs that have been cooked in the hot volcanic gases. Sounds cool, huh? Bao continues, Yes! I'd like to try that sometime. Hakone is also popular because of its views of Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is located about 85 miles, 138 kilometers southwest of Tokyo. And it takes about two to three hours to get to Mount Fuji from Tokyo by car. But Japan is famous for another form of transportation. Getting to Mount Fuji by train. Japan has one of the best train systems in the world. Ming says, Look at this! There are so many trains, so many ways to get to Mount Fuji. The Fuji Excursion Limited Express Train takes you from Shinjuku Station in Tokyo to Kawakujiku Station. The closest station to Mount Fuji and the fastest. Another train is JR Limited Express Train. You need to change trains if you go this way. 
One other way is to take the JR2 special rapid service. Bao says, The cool thing about this is that there are no traffic jams. The Tokyo area is famous for its unbelievable car traffic. Another cool thing is that if you are traveling in a group, no one has to drive. Everyone can sit back and enjoy the views. And there's one more really famous train that you can take part of from Tokyo. Shinkansen, the bullet train. Can you imagine riding on the Shinkansen train from Tokyo? Asks Bao. You can only go as far as Odawara Station, and that's where you change to a slower train. The Hakone Tozan train. Then you get off that train at the Hakone Itabashi Station. This is at the northern base of Mount Fuji. And there are several famous lakes here, and some of the best views of Mount Fuji. Ming wants to learn more about the bullet train. It says here that over its 50 year plus history and carrying over 10 billion passengers, there has never been a single passenger fatality. It can go as fast as 200 miles per hour or 320 kilometers per hour. At first, there was just one Shinkansen. But now there are Shinkansen trains that connect most of the major cities. The Fuji Five Lakes. Bao says, Do you remember when we talked about the Hokone Itabashi Station? And there were famous lakes there? Ming says, Yes, I just saw that. There are five lakes, and guess how they were formed? They were formed from earlier eruptions of Mount Fuji, probably a long time ago. Lake Kawaguchi is the most famous lake and the second largest. There's an island and people have fun taking boat rides, and fishing is popular. Bao adds, There's an aerial tramway called Lake Kawaguchi Mount Tenjo Ropeway. It's not a very high mountain, but you have incredible views of the lake and Mount Fuji. If you go during the cherry blossom season, in the spring, you can take good pictures of Mount Fuji with a few pink blossoms. Facts about Mount Fuji Bao and Ming agree that they want to know some more specific information about Mount Fuji. Bao says, at 12,389 feet, 3,776 meters, it's the highest mountain in Japan and the seventh highest peak that is located on an island on Earth. It last erupted between 1707 and 1708. On a clear day, you can see Mount Fuji from Tokyo. I think that's kind of rare because of the air pollution caused partly because of the famous traffic jams, Ming adds. It's a cultural icon that has been depicted many times by artists and photographers. It was designated as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2013. Mount Fuji is one of Japan's three holy mountains, along with Mount Tate and Mount Haku. The History of Mount Fuji Ming says, The history of Mount Fuji is pretty interesting. For about 1,000 years, the capital of Japan was Kyoto. It's about 284 miles, 457 kilometers, southwest of Edo. Bao asks, What is Edo? Ming answers, It's what the Japanese people used to call Tokyo. 
In about 1600, the capital was moved to Tokyo. But I wonder, what does that have to do with Mount Fuji? Bao finds it. There was no Shinkansen yet. He laughs. They had to walk, and it took them about a week. But if there was bad weather, it could take up to a month. They stayed at inns along the way to sleep and eat. The inns were called stations. And there were 53 stations from Kyoto to Tokyo. Hiroshige was a famous Japanese artist who made a woodblock print for each of the 53 stations. Ming adds, the name of the road they walked on was called the Toikaido Road, which means Eastern Sea Route. And I bet you can guess what they could see on their trek. Continuing on Tokaido Road. What did they see along the way? Mount Fuji, of course. The two pandas are interested in this long walk and what the people saw. Bao says, Most people walked, but the wealthy people were carried in a litter. Ming snickers. No, Ming, this doesn't have anything to do with cat boxes. They both laugh. It's a seat covered by a canopy and carried by two or more men. Ming finds more information. Women were not allowed to travel alone. One man, or more than one man, had to go along to protect her on her journey. Kyoto had been the home of many of the travelers, and many had never been outside of their hometown. The travelers could enjoy the views of Mount Fuji along the way. They had never seen it. Then it became very popular among Japanese travelers. He pauses and then says, I wonder if anyone has ever climbed to the top. Climbing to the top of Mount Fuji. The climbing season for Mount Fuji is from early July to early September. During other periods, for example, the snow season, climbing Mount Fuji is prohibited. Ming says, I would love to do that! Hundreds of thousands of people do it every year. There are several trails and buses take people from the bottom of the volcano to the fifth station of each trail. Not to be confused with the stations on the Tokaido Road. Bao says, At the fifth station, there are snacks, like grilled corn cobs. After the fifth station, you have to start climbing. No more buses. And the summit is the tenth station. Many people like to hike during the night so that they can see the sunrise in the morning. It takes between five and seven hours to climb to the top from the fifth station. The views at any time of the day are fantastic. It takes between three and four hours to descend. Interesting facts. Mount Fuji is a composite of three volcanoes. Komitake is at the bottom, Kofuji, Old Fuji, and Shin Fuji, New Fuji. Two of Japan's most famous woodblock printers depict Mount Fuji among their many works of art. The most well-known representation of Mount Fuji is Hokusai's woodblock print series called 36 Views of Mount Fuji. Surprisingly, Mount Fuji is part of a volcanic chain starting from the Mariana Islands northward through the Izu Islands and through the Izu Peninsula to northern Honshu. The Fuji Five Lakes were formed by the lava flows when Mount Fuji erupted. The reflection of Mount Fuji in Lake Kawaguchi is very popular with tourists 
who enjoy taking photos of the volcano from different locations, producing different effects. Over millions of years, lava from Kofuji has covered most of the Komitake volcano at the bottom of Mount Fuji. Tradition says that Mount Fuji was formed in 286 BC by an earthquake. However, scientists can tell that it erupted much earlier than that, anywhere from 600,000 years ago to 2.6 million or even 65 million years ago. The base of Mount Fuji is about 78 miles. 125 kilometers in circumference with a diameter of 25 to 30 miles 40 to 50 kilometers there is a crater at the summit of Mount Fuji it is 1,600 feet 500 meters in surface diameter and 820 feet 250 meters deep Around the jagged edges of the crater at the summit of Mount Fuji are eight peaks. The hot spring resorts at Yumoto and Gora are located in the wooded volcanic Hokone area southeast of Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is famous all over the world. For many people, Mount Fuji is a sacred symbol of Japan.